All right, last week on the Artistic Backer, we did a tribute to daily practice. This week on the Artistic Backer, we're going to do a little bit about uh, Burt Reynolds because Burt Reynolds passed away. So I'm going to do a tribute to him in my art journal. So uh, let's get started on that. Take your headphones off. That's my like intro sequence. Okay, so let's. I don't certain, sing some Merle Haggard for you. Do I know any Merle Haggard? Just a good old boy. Never mean no harm. Beats all you never saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they were born. Making their way. Only way they know how. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. No, that's Waylon Jennings. That's not Merle Haggard. Do I know any Merle Haggard? I'm a few bars. Waylon Jennings sang the the intro to um the hell was that show? Dukes of Hazard. Oh, I have to wait for the lag to catch up so that she can answer. Making now I got that song stuck in my head though. Making their way the only way they know how. I can go on now. What? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I don't know if I know any Merle Haggard songs. I mean I know who Merle Haggard is, and I'm sure that there are Merle Haggard songs that if you started singing them, I would know that they were Merle I would know the words. But right off the top of my head, Pamela French is in the chat room saying, sing some Merle Haggard. Now hang on, we have to figure this out. Merle Haggard songs. Let's see. Mama tried. I know that, but I don't know the words to it. Swinging doors, misery and jam. Ledges all gone to pot. Ah, man. Do, do, do. I'm not sure. I hate to say this, but Merle Haggard is not one of the ones. I mean, I'm sure there's some, some that I can sing along with. Here's the 10 best Merle Haggard songs ever, according to Burl. I don't. Why are we talking about Merle Haggard? Let's see. The 10 best Merle Haggard songs ever. Uh, well, it, it says 10, but it actually lists 20. Big City, Sunday When Things Are Good, Are The Good Times Really Over, It's Not Love But It's Not Bad, Hungry Eyes, You Take Me For Granted, I Can't Be Myself, The Bottle Let Me Down, It's All In The Movies, Always Wanting You, If We Make It Through December, My Favorite, I Don't Know Any Of These Songs, Kern River, Okie, I'm Just An Okie From Muskogee, I Think I Know That One, I Don't Know The Words To It Though, I've Heard It. Misery and Jen. Mama tried. I remember that one. That was about how he was not trying not to be a sinful person. Mama tried. Mama tried. <laughs> Bam, Bam says, I don't know. I just thought that sounded good. Yeah. No, we'd probably be better off singing songs like uh, Jerry Reed. Eastbound down, loaded up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go. Yeah, new short time to get to. I'm eastbound, just watch your bandit run. Put the foot hard on the pedal, so never mind them brakes. Let it all hang out, cause we got run and bait. Boys are thirsty in Atlanta. And there's beer in Texarkana. We gonna get it there, no, no matter what it takes. He's bound to get loaded up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go, and a short 
trying to get to I'm eastbound and watch old bandit run. That's the one that's been going through my head. Since I found out today that Burt Reynolds died. Man, I grew up watching Burt Reynolds. I watched Burt Reynolds. Burt, Burt Reynolds was the epitome of manhood when I was a child. When I was a lad. When I was but a young man, I was wild and full of fire. Youth within my teens, but full of challenge and desire. I ran away from home and left my mother and my dad. I know it feeling them so think their only boy was bad. Anyway, that aside, uh, Burt Reynolds was the standard. The standard of manhood. I mean, that's what... That's what... Uh, men of the 60s and 70s aspired to be. Right? Burt Reynolds. All the, all the men of the 60s and 70s wanted to be Burt Reynolds when they grew up. But it turns out there's only one Burt Reynolds and he's dead now. 82. I'll tell you, this is going to sound bad. What bothers me most about all these actors and actresses dying, Aretha Franklin, Burt Reynolds, is that they are young as far as, you know, there was a time I thought these ages were old. Well, hello, spooky little boy. Just out of nowhere, there's a child just sitting there. There was a time that I thought these ages were old, and, you know, 82, good Lord, I couldn't imagine being 82. I can barely, I can't imagine being 30, let alone 82, right? But now, you know, I'm halfway to 82. I'm over, I'm past halfway to 82. Those ages don't seem quite so old anymore. Now those ages seem like right around the corner. You know? You know, my dad's going to be 70 this year. Wait, is that right? Yeah. My dad's going to be 70 this year. 82 doesn't seem like that old to me. So, I guess that's the scary part. We all grew up, we all grew up watching we all grew up watching Burt Reynolds in the movies. Let me dry this real quick. What? Paper. Paper. You need some paper? I just wanted to join. I understand. He's down and down. You look at the bed. What are you going to do with the age? You know, he did more movies than that. But those are the only, that's the only song. That's the only song associated with Burt Reynolds that sticks out in my mind. You know, because there's no words to dueling banjo. He's correct. <laughs> Pamela says, I know what you mean. She turned 60 in a month and keeps trying to figure out how I made it thus far. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy talk. I mean, the sheer idea that my dad's going to be 70, my mom's about to turn uh, 39 again. It's crazy. Let's see, I need a pencil. Let's use... Yeah, that'll put lead in your pencil. You know, the, the, the idea that... But you know, 
I've told my kids all their lives, you know, everything is on its way, everybody and everything is on its way somewhere else. So, I mean, I guess, I guess we shouldn't be too unhappy. I mean, 82 is a good long time, but not when you're getting close to 82, it's not. I don't think 82 is near as old as I as I once thought it was. Can't talk, Arding. Sorry. Sorry, I can't I can't talk in R at the same time. It it doesn't work. I have to get this background laid in. Pencils coming apart. Yeah, I mean he was in a bunch of movies, but the only one that I can, the only one that I can think of lyrics for is. What are you saying, son? The only, the, he's singing "Devil Went Down to Georgia." The only thing I can think of lyrics for is um, "Smoking the Bandit." That'll work. That'll work. Let's get that. Let's get that affixed in there. Hi, Terry. Pamela says her dad is ninety-seven. I mean, that's crazy talk. Crazy talk to think that I mean people aren't supposed to grow old like that. But again, you know, I've I've taught the kids their whole lives that that everybody and everything is on its way somewhere else. So I mean I guess I shouldn't be surprised when when it happens. It's just goodness. I just can't believe that you know it, it just brings it home. It just it just amplifies my own mortality when when the stars that I grew up with. That I mean the only, my only memory, of, my only recollection. Uh, the only, this is not charcoal. This is a 4B graphite, and it's just a, a Pacific Arc H1304 graphite holder. Is all it is. I don't know. Can you see it? It's uh, but I've got 4B graphite in there. I like the 4B because the 4B um, seems to be. Uh, it's not really water soluble, but it's soft enough to seem water soluble. I mean, I know it's I know it's not water soluble, but it seems like it's water soluble. Yeah, I mean he was in a lot of movies. I mean he's got, he got he started the earliest movies I remember. Burt Reynolds and he he played an Indian. He played a Native American in in uh, some westerns. And honestly, I only remember those from Saturday morning because I was way too young for that. But I remember those from Saturday morning 
from Saturday morning movies when when the, the local UHF channel would show them. But, uh, you know, I honestly don't remember... I honestly don't remember too much of of him playing the the uh, Native Americans in the in the uh, westerns. This will all come together once I go back over with my ink brush. I assure you. At least I'm hoping it will. That's the hope. That's the hope. You hear them dogs again? Yeah. I haven't killed the dogs yet. That's that's how you know. That's how you know that I'm not I'm not really a bad person is I haven't killed the dogs yet. He's bound down, loaded up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can be done. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Well I'm these bound just watch the band get run. Everything that you love or own has paint on it. Right? All my favorite stuff has paint on it. Everything that's... All the cool stuff has paint on it. Even my... Wait. There we go. Yeah! Everything that's important to me has paint on it. <laughs> I'm going to go to school tomorrow. You have paint on you too, don't you? No, I have Sharpie on And paint. Right? Now you and Mo are in trouble. Are we in trouble? Yes. Okay, that's let me dry that real quick. Yeah, it marks that well because it's uh it's 4D. It's really very soft. him in the westerns. The first movie I really remember him in is Deliverance with the banjos. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. The first time I watched Deliverance, I was way too young to have been watching Deliverance. I was way too young to have been watching Deliverance. But then, you know, it was the 70s. And nobody, nobody really thought, if it was bad for children, why would they show it on television, right? Then you're talking about my mom took me to see the exorcist too so we really can't we really can't talk about whether it was appropriate for children
above the dryer? Yeah. Will it reach over there? I don't know if it'll reach over there. Be careful because I don't want you to get in the water. I don't want anything to happen to you. I've got paint on you. I think that'll work for a background, don't you think that'll work for a background? Sure. You liked him in Gunsmoke. Was he see now was he in Gunsmoke? Because keep in mind I was born in seventy one. So uh Gunsmoke was way before my time. Yeah, they showed it on television, but I didn't I didn't really watch Gunsmoke. So Gunsmoke was Gunsmoke was way before my time. Deliverance was really before my time, but you know I've seen it. So, let me take this. I need to subdue this just a little bit. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take some flat white. And I'm just going to light... I'm just going to go... You can't really see what I'm doing. Let's see if you can... How do I make it so that you can see? Wait, no, I can't let you see. Everybody put your masks on. It's important that you wear your masks when you use spray paint. When you use masks, nobody can breathe the paint. I may not be able to do this. My... No, this, this, this paint's messed up. So we use gray. Gray will work. Gray will work just fine. Unless I'm out of gray, then the gray won't work as well. Well, good lord. There we go. That, is, that subdues it enough so that. Oh, it's dusty back there now. It's dusty. I don't want the. I don't want the truck and the car to be the the highlighted feature here. So we need it subdued enough. He was in 59 episodes. <laughs> but see, Gunsmoke was before my time. I don't remember that. I don't remember Gunsmoke. I remember Deliverance. And then I remember Smokey and the Bandit. Well, they make 10 of those, but he, I think he was only in the first six. Him and Jerry, Jerry Lee, Jerry Reed, and uh, Sally Fields, and. Uh, to the moon, Alice! What was his name? When David Bowie died. David Bowie died a long time ago. That was a long time ago. What was the guy's name? Cramden. How's that supposed to know that? Cramden's not his real name, though. Jerry, Jackie Gleason. Jackie Gleason. Yeah, switch the spray nozzles. No, the, the spray. It's different brand, brands of paint. The uh, the gray is, is uh, La Chipe generic gray and the and the white was um, not Krylon. I'd have been better off with Krylon. Uh, let's uh, let's take this moment while this is setting up. Let's take this moment and let's do what's on your easel. I'm ready. Sing it, boy. What's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? Okay. All right, let's see here. Let's go back because I have to do it on my phone right now. Let's see. I know 
Pamela French sent me some easels. Do, do, do. What is that nonsense? I know Pamela French sent me some easels. Take a Walk is a watercolor. It's loading. So, there's one from Pamela French. No, Art Carney was not Jack, was, was, uh, not the Cramdens. Jackie Gleason was the Cramdens. Isn't that right? Alice Cramden to the moon. Maybe, maybe Art Carney was the Cramdens. So there's Pamela French's Take a Walk. And then Easel Multiple, addition to previous. Dun dun dun! Don't stand on that. It's not made for standing. No. Good Lord! I should have I should have had these all ready to go. Terry, I thought you were going to. Hey, Kia. Terry, I thought you were going to send something in this week. Here I used a background that was bad as a background for some Hawaiian flowers. Is there more than one picture? Oh, here we go. Yeah. So, here's this bug on a leaf. I love bug paintings like that. That's awesome. Yeah, Art Carney was the next door neighbor. We're talking about Jackie Gleason from The Honeymooners and uh, um, Smokey and the Bandit. And then here are some Hawaiian flowers. These are all from Pamela French. And then here is the Take a Walk. So you can see the footprints in the background. This is the the take a walk watercolor that she sent earlier. Did you do more to it? Yeah, the first time you sent it, it didn't have the shadow. The second time it had the shadow of the tree. And that's all the easels I had sent in to me. And then, I've done a little bit. Uh, I didn't show you last week. I don't think I showed you last week the that I've started painting the minis again on Monday. And there's a there's kind of a game to this. There's kind of a game to this. When I can't think of a topic, well, unless if I can think of a topic that I just really want to paint, then I'm going to go with that. But otherwise, I'm going to go with alpha I'm, I'm going to use the alphabet for prompts, right? So this is this is A. This is this is this is the letter A. A is for alcohol. Right? Now, see if you can guess. See if you can guess what this one is, right? See if see if somebody can guess what that one is. I'll give you a few minutes to work on that, and then I'll come back at the end and I'll and I'll tell you what it was because I, I know there's a lag, so I've got to wait for the I've got to wait for the lag to catch up. And then uh, I've done some pinups. I've done some pinups in my little pinup journal. Because I enjoy drawing those. That's kind of what I aspire to be when I grow up. And I started drawing again in my... During the... Uh, last week when I started talking about the, the uh, random object, randomographer, it kind of, kind of spurred me on to do... Oh, you're so close, Jack. It's not B for bear. It's B. Honey, bins, honey begins with bees. That's right. Honey begins with bees. So uh, this morning I did uh, the sea lion miniature and then I'm still doing I'm still doing faces I did that watercolor last week Wednesdays for watercolors and I did that watercolor last week and then I did those faces and those faces and those faces and those faces and then I did that watercolor last night because Wednesdays are for watercolors and then hang on we'll get to that I've also been doing these. Do, do, do. 
I really like these 30 second, 30 second figure gestures. You know, you do three minutes or five minutes, 30 seconds times 10 is 300 seconds. How many minutes is that? <laughs> five minutes, 300 seconds is five minutes, right? So spend about five minutes in the morning doing, doing gestures. And then last but not least, uh, Ayola Art, Ayala Art is doing the 29 faces hashtag 29 faces, so you can you can look that up. And so I've I've got these little these little bitty notebooks that I picked up from Amazon. I bought they they came in a packet of four from Amazon. Honey is for bears. Honey starts with bees. So I was doing these with the fountain pen, but I discovered that obviously the the fountain pen bleeds through it so the last page I glued this little flap between the last page and the back cover so that I could put that flap down like I'm writing a blank like I'm writing a check and so I've got my 29 faces I've got the, the instructions 29 faces is a challenge by all art to create a face a day for 29 days and then there's day one which began on uh, September 1st which was Saturday day two which was Sunday day three which was Monday, day four, which was Tuesday, day five, which was Wednesday, and I haven't done, I haven't done tonight's yet, so we're at day five right now, and then Junior over here, the last thing for what's on your easel is a woolly mammoth. I feel like this is school. Why do you feel like a woolly mammoth is school? Care to expand on that a little bit? Expound. Because woolly mammoths are normally like learning more and um, walking at recess. Okay. It works if it works for you, it works for me. If it if it works for you, it works for me. So anyway, that's what's on my easel. That's what's on your easel. If you'd like to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to easel. Send, simply send an email email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel. We'll use your works to inspire other people to do stuff because that's what this is all about anyway. It's obviously not to watch me create fine art because uh, anyway, yeah, the whole the whole purpose of our show is to encourage others to to create. So please share your works with us so we can share it with others and inspire use it to inspire others. Anyway, the correct answer. The correct answer is that is honey. Honey begins with bees. I don't care what anybody else says. That is honey. Honey begins with bees. <laughs> All right. So back to our Burt Reynolds tribute. So yeah, we were talking. Yeah, I remember Cannonball Run. I remember Cannonball Run being a being a long race from the East Coast to the West Coast, you know. But I don't really remember. I don't remember any lines from Cannonball Run. I don't remember. I mean, there's nothing nothing from Cannonball Run I can quote. Where is that? Where was this other edge? This other edge came in here like this, and then his hair did this. There's just, there's just no. I don't have any, I don't have any lines from Cannonball Run that I can quote. I don't have any. I don't have any. Um, I just, I just don't have any knowledge of Cannonball Run. There's no, there's no. You're more than free to be wrong. Jack says you're more than free to be wrong. That's right. It's my show. I can be as wrong as I want to be. Honey begins with bees. I don't care what anybody says. Honey begins with bees. Bears don't make honey. Bears don't start honey. I 
That's not how it works. But yeah, Jack. Jack says you're free to be wrong. Of course, I'm free to be wrong. I appreciate you stopping the dogs from barking, because otherwise we have to kill the dogs. Nobody wants to kill the dogs on live on live YouTube. Yep. yep. JJ McClure, what about what about a black Trans Am? That's been done. There's the black Trans Am. Oh, you're talking about lines from this movie. I honestly, I don't. I barely remember. The movie did not make. The movie did not make an impression on me. Cannonball Run did not make an impression on me. Like, uh, like Deliverance or or. Uh, I mean, the whole culture of truck drivers, the whole, the whole, um, I mean, wasn't the movie Convoy? Would, would we have even had the movie Convoy if it hadn't been for, for, which one came first? Somebody look it up. Which one came first? Did Convoy come first or did, or did, uh, Smokey and the Bandit come first? Which one, which one came first? I just don't think I just don't think you have any of those other trucker movies without Smokey and the Bandit. You certainly don't have you certainly don't have um, Cannonball Run because the whole humor for Cannonball Run was based on the success of Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> there's not, she says there's lots of Gleason lines, but this is a family show. Well, it's not family chat, so, I mean, you can pretty much say what you want in the chat. Sorry, can't can't talk. Arting. Arting. That'll work. Somebody will confuse that for a hat. I'm sure. Okay, buddy. Okay, I love you. Hef, I love you. Thank you for thank you for joining me. I love it when he comes out here and arts with me. when he comes out here in arts with me. Bandit was my first All-American hero. The accent won't come through the chat and the accent is everything when delivering those those lines. Convoy was 78 and Cannonball was 81. Smokey and the Bandit was 77. So see, if I don't think it, I don't think there would have been I don't think there would have been Convoy if there wasn't Smokey and the Bandit. I think I think Convoy is I think Convoy is the beginning of it all. 
I mean, I think, I'm sorry, I think Smokey and the Bandit was the beginning of it all. I just don't think there'd be... I just don't think any of those other movies would happen without... without uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit is, is the beginning of that whole era. That and this whole 70s porno mustache thing. I mean, seriously, this is what... This is what everybody... I remember all the guys aspired to be this way. And I'm a little bit older than Jack. Not much, but just a little bit older than Jack. I need to dry this so I can get some shading on there without, I don't want it to mix in. And then there was, there was Hooper. I remember Hooper, would there have been, uh, what was the movie, what was the television series with Lee Majors? When he was, uh, he was a uh, the fall guy, the fall guy, where, where Lee Majors was uh, a stunt man, but in his spare time he was a he was a uh, bounty hunter. I mean, would that would that television series have even existed if it hadn't been for if it hadn't been for um, Hooper, the movie Hooper. You know, The Longest Yard. How many how many other movies happened because of The Longest Yard? How many careers did this guy kick off? Sally Fields. Sally Fields and there were several others that, that uh Oh, their entire their entire careers to this guy. But would but would Fall Guy would Fall Guy have happened? Cer yeah, there certainly would not have been a Duke of Hazard. But Fall Guy, you, does anybody even remember the the movie Hooper, where where uh, he was a uh, he was a, a stunt man? I bet Fall. I don't. I think. I don't think Fall Guy happens without without the movie Hooper. I just. I just don't think it does. I. I mean, I could be wrong. Like like Jack said earlier, I have every right to be wrong, right? I need to dry brush that. I need to blend that with a dry brush. Hang on. I just, uh, I just don't think Fall Guy happens without Hooper. Best little whorehouse in Texas. What, what, what movies don't happen without Best Little Whorehouse in Texas?
9 to 5? Was 9 to 5 before or after Best Little Whorehouse in Texas? I mean, the movies that that really stand out are the movies that I shouldn't have watched when they came out. <laughs> All right, I think it's it's probably safe to say that I'm not a portrait artist, but I think that we can go over this now with a brush pen and get to where we were going. What else? Striptease. Oh man. Does anybody remember Striptease? Striptease was has one of my favorite favorite scenes in it of all time. I've used that scene. The scene where Demi Moore comes in and he is a senator. He's supposed to be a senator. And Demi Moore comes in, and he's in his he's in his uh, black leather he's in his black leather vest, and he's black leather pants and black boots, and it's a sleeveless vest, and he's got his cowboy hat on. He's he's all shiny, and he's walking around in the lower cabin of the boat when Demi Moore shows up to perform for him in a private party, and he's walking around. His like, skin's all shiny. And she says, "What's all over you?" He says, "That lean." I like it when it squishes between my toes. He's just walking like... It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite scenes of all time. Okay, 9 to 5 was before Best Little Whorehouse. Okay, so Best Little Whorehouse doesn't happen without 9 to 5. Rhinestone Cowboy. Wait, now, was he in Rhinestone Cowboy or was... Uh, I don't remember if he was in Rhinestone Cowboy or not. Was he in Rhinestone Cowboy? I mean, I know... I know that... Um, uh, Dolly Parton was. But was he in Rhinestone Cowboy? But would, would Rhinestone Cowboy have happened without without Best Little Whorehouse in Texas and without Rhinestone Cowboy was Glenn Campbell like a rhinestone cowboy Getting cards and letters from people I don't even know
like a rhinestone cowboy. But the movie had Sylvester Stallone. Okay. So rhinestone cowboy. The movie had Sylvester Stallone. I need to change brushes. This brush is too... This brush is too... Look at the ferrule came off! Man. That's what happens when you leave your brushes in the water too long. That is why you are supposed to take your brushes out of the water You're not supposed to leave them in your water. It causes the glue and the ferrules to come undone. It was a pretty dumb movie. I love my brush pen, Pamela. I love my brush pen. I truly do. Pamela says, you should love that brush pen. It's pretty amazing. I do. I love my brush pen. Stone Cowboy. Can you guys tell that? Probably can't even tell that, that who that is. Probably can't even tell. And I could sit here and I could fuss with it. And it's never going to be. It's never going to be quite what I had envisioned. But it's okay. Okay. I think I think that's going to get me there. I think that's going to get me where I wanted to be. And I'm not a portrait artist. I mean, I don't want to not do it because I can't do it. So I'm, I'm working on it. But it'll work. This will work as a tribute to as a tribute to uh, Burt Reynolds I think what is, hey somebody look up when he was born I did. There's the TA, there's the hat, there's the mustache. So, was he born in 32? I think he was born in 32. Wait, he couldn't have been born in 32. If he's... If he's 82... 80 years ago would have been 48. He had been... 80 years ago... Crap. Math. Hi, Eileen! I should have painted his centerfold. Was that Cosmopolitan? I thought that was Playgirl. Should have painted his centerfold. He was born in thirty-six. That's right. That's right.
math. I knew he did a centerfold. Wasn't he? He was in Plague Girl more than once, though, too, wasn't he? Like a rhinestone cat. Dang it. Night, Terry. Terry said she had to go. Jack says, no, it was only Cosmo. I thought he, I, for some reason I had it in my head that he, he had posed for, um, he had posed for, uh, Playgirl a few times as well. Getting cards, letters from people. That song has nothing to do with our topic tonight. It's just stuck in my head now. Can't talk, Arting. It literally gave birth to Playboy. Not Kia. We had the centerfold pin on the ladies' room wall where I worked back then. And it literally gave birth to Playgirl. So without that, there's no Playgirl, right? <laughs> ah. So there you go. There's my tribute to. There's my tribute to uh, Burt Reynolds. Rest in peace, Bandit. 1936 to 2018. I'm going to go in the house and I'm going to cover myself in Vaseline and put my leathers on and creep around in my boots because I like the way it squishes between my toes. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me so much. This is my favorite night of the week when I get to art with my besties. I look forward to it every week. Uh, tune in next week. Same Artistic Biker time. Same Artistic Biker channel. Now next week, even though we didn't finish the journal, we're still, we still have a quarter of this journal left to go. Next week, we're going to uh, begin making the 
new journal. It's a two. It's a two episode process because you've got to let glue dry. So we'll get through the first part of the process, and uh, you'll need. We'll need if you want to play along. We're going to make hours out of grocery sacks. So what you'll need is you'll need some grocery sacks. You'll need something to use as a cover. I'm going to use watercolor paper that I painted on. Um, you'll need glue or Mod Podge. You will need ribbon and you will need uh, wax and string. I'm going to use dental floss. You can, but you can get twine, uh, uh, not twine, but uh, crochet this stuff. You can get this stuff, kite string if you want to, and, and coat it with uh, and then a, and then an old candle and we and you can wax it and, and that'll work too. I'm going to use it's preferable if it's cotton, but nylon works. Anyway, we'll we'll set all that out. We'll start working with it next week. Uh, the number of pages you use is going to determine is going to be determined by the number of pages you want in your journal, how many signatures you want in your journal. So we're going to lay all that out next week, and we're going to start setting it up. And then when we get to the gluing part, we'll stop, and then we'll come back the week after, and we'll finish it up. So the next two weeks is journal making, uh, and it'll be the real journal stuff, not the stapled journal, not the stapled summer journal. So be sure and tune in next week. Same artistic biker time, same artistic biker channel. Playgirl magazine didn't exist until the cosmos bred. After seeing the reaction, Playgirl founder Douglas Lambert started the magazine. Is it Lambert or Lambert? He's, he's going to type it and he's still going to say Lambert or Lambert. Anyway, and then we dance. And we dance until somebody in the chat room is nice enough to say that they see me dancing because then once I know they see me dancing, I know the lag is caught up to where we're supposed to be and I know that nobody misses anything within all of the stuff that's supposed to happen and all the announcements and everything and all of that other stuff. Dancing. Good night. Mwah.